Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I'm going to create rosemary and lavender smudge sticks and decorate a smudging feather. Let's do some magical crafting. I clipped some rosemary from the bush in my yard. I'm starting with fresh rosemary so that it's supple and will not break when I wrap my smudge stick. I'm adding a few sprigs of lavender inside the bundle because it's already dried. And just in case it crumbles, the rosemary will hold it together. I chose rosemary because of its protective properties and its ability to dispel negative energy. Rosemary smoke has powerful cleansing and purifying power. You can use a rosemary smudge stick to cleanse the space before performing a ritual. It clears negativity and promotes confidence and a clear mind. I chose lavender because it has many magical uses, including cleansing and creating the energy of happiness and healing, purification and tranquility. I'm not using sage in my bundle today, but sage is probably the most commonly used plant for cleansing and smudging. You can mix sage with many other herbs to add additional benefits. Other smudging herbs include, but are not limited to, cedar, juniper, and bay leaves. Some other sacred plants that can be ritually burned are lemongrass, eucalyptus, and palo santo. Historically, smudging is an ancient practice used by many cultures that involves the burning of herbs for cleansing and purification. It clears stuck and low vibration energy. Smudging calls on the spirit of sacred plants to drive away negative energies and restore balance. Similar to burning incense, burning a smudge stick can act as an offering to spirit, aid in visions, dream work, and more. In recent times, smudging has grown in popularity and its uses have become as diverse as the people who practice it. I chose to use purple embroidery floss to wrap my smudge sticks. It's important to wrap the bundles tightly. I'm keeping my finished wands somewhat short and relatively thin, but that's a personal preference. You can make your rosemary wands any size you like. Just make sure to allow them to fully dry all the way through before lighting them, especially if you make a really thick smudge stick. If the herbs in the center are not dry, they will not burn as successfully. To make my smudging feather, I started with a large turkey feather. Using an undecorated feather or even just your hand to direct the smoke while you're smudging is completely fine. But of course, my crafty soul wanted to decorate my feather. I started with red and blue watercolors and mixed up a nice purple color. I applied it to the feather, drying it off as I went until I achieved a nice, even, light purple color. The feather will naturally try to resist the watercolor, so I applied a few layers and then let it dry completely. After that, I smoothed together the feather edges that had separated and it was ready for a bit more decoration. When you smudge your space or yourself, light the smudge wand and allow the smoke to touch all areas of the home. You can use a feather or a fan to move the smoke into all areas of your room or home, or use this tool to wash the smoke over yourself. The method you use to smudge your space should resonate with you and your beliefs. Some prefer to move in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Others will call upon the elements or forces of nature while cleansing a space. You can use this process to banish negativity or to raise energy and get you into a spiritual mindset. You can use the smoke to cleanse your home, yourself, and your magical tools. Smudging can often make people feel more relaxed and grounded and more ready to take on important tasks or magical workings. 
I did not have a plan for my decoration. I decided to use white acrylic paint and add a pattern of dots in a spiral. Then I added crescent and full moon imagery with some more geometric dot patterns. Once the paint is dry, your smudging feather is done. I hope this crafty little video gave you some ideas for your own witchy crafting relating to smudging herb bundles and feathers.